Pork shoulder, pork butt, Boston butt, doesn't matter what you call it, it only matters how you cook it. And if you follow this recipe, you're gonna get zero net carbs and 100% flavor. Keto warriors, I'm gonna change your lives with this one. I'm giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to smoke a pork butt on my Weber Smoky Mountain. So enough talk, and let's do this thing. So pork butt is a super easy meat to smoke. It's just a two-step process. You score the fat cap, you season it, and it's ready to go. So the next step is we're gonna salt the meat. I actually separate the salt from the rub. Again, depending on what type of meat you're trying to season, sometimes you want more salt, sometimes you want less. So for instance, if you're making a rack of ribs, there's a lot of bone, not a lot of meat, so you don't wanna over salt the meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So for the seasoning, if you wanna keep this a keto recipe, make sure that you don't have any sugar inside of your rub. I'm using a mix that I got from Meathead Goldwyn and I'm using Swerve Brown Sugar instead of regular sugar. So we wanna make sure we get all sides of the pork butt with the seasoning because again, the seasoning is gonna marry together with the fat. We're gonna get that nice, beautiful bark and that's what we are looking for. So there we go, pork butt is scored up and seasoned. So I'm using a combination of hickory and pecan to smoke this pork butt. I also filled the charcoal ring all the way to the top and that should hold us steady until the end of the cook. So my Weber Smoky Mountain is running at about 250. I've cooked pork butt on the Weber Smoky Mountain at 275 before. I think 250 is the perfect temperature where you get to render down the fat. The collagen has enough time to break down without the pork butt kind of burning. So let's go ahead and throw this pork butt onto the pit. Okay, so the pork butt is on. At this point, it's just a waiting process. So this is gonna take anywhere between four to six hours to basically build up the bark, but also to break down the fat. So just like the rib video that I did before, I'm just trying to see if the fat gives way to my finger when I push it, the bark set, that parameter is met, my finger's going through the fat, that parameter is met, then I know that it's time to wrap. And that can take anywhere between like five to six hours maybe. But um, yeah, in between that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the meat if it needs it. Um, again, I do like the like craggly, crunchy skin on the bark, but you know, I also don't wanna burn it. So I'll show you guys what that looks like if I do need to spray in a few hours. So catch you guys then. Okay, so it's been about four and a half hours and now it's time to spray. So as you can see on the pork butt, we have these like black kind of edges and that's what we want to prevent from burning. So we're gonna go ahead and spray and we only wanna spray the meat, not the fat because we still want the fat to render down. Okay, this is the reason why we decided to cook this fat side down. It's because all of the meat's exposed, the bark can develop properly and we can go ahead and spray it whenever it starts to get dry. So from the way it looks right now, I think the bark needs about like an hour and a half to two more hours until it's ready to test to see if the collagen has broken down, the fat's starting to give way to my finger. So until then, I'm just gonna wait, keep spraying it every 30 minutes or so, and then we'll be ready to wrap. Okay, so it's been about eight hours and the pork butt is ready to be wrapped. So I already tested the fat to see if the collagen has fully broken down and my finger is just giving way to that fat. So I know it's ready, bark is set, fat's broken down. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing. Before I wrap it, I'm actually going to spray it again with the apple cider vinegar. And I'm also gonna spray it with this, I can't believe it's not butter spray. I love the way this tastes on pork, so that's why I'm gonna use it. Put it back on the pit. All around me are familiar faces. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, crisis averted. So grab our pork butt, put it back, close it up. We're basically gonna be cooking at 250 still for about two hours and then the pork butt should be ready to go.
Okay, so the pork butt was temping between 205 and 210, so I knew that it was ready to go. Also, when I was putting the probe in, it was just going straight through like warm butter. So I just pulled this off. It's only been about 20 minutes, but it's actually getting pretty late. This cook took about 12 hours, which was a lot longer than I thought it would take. But every cut of meat is different, and you have to kind of go with the flow when you're cooking. So pro tip, don't be in a rush when you're cooking, and in the end, you will be rewarded. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys what it looks like and then take a little sample of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, look at that, wow. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of this money muscle. So I'm gonna just rip it apart. Oh my gosh, it just falls right apart. You see the pink from the smoke, that nice bark on the outside and the fat is just completely broken down. Yeah, so let's go ahead and try this thing. Hmm. Wow. So greasy, so delicious. It just falls apart in your mouth. I, hmm. There's nothing like a well-smoked pork butt. Look at that. My gosh. I'm telling you, you're on keto. This is your new bacon right here, all right? Wow. Unbelievable. So that was the cook. Hope you guys were able to follow along, cook with me. You know, on this channel, I do a lot of barbecue and fitness related content. So if you're interested in that, then please consider subscribing. But until next time, I will catch you guys later.